here hopefully Leroy will come around here shortly he's always busy so you never can tell <laughs> so my vacation time is over I was sick one two weeks ago couldn't be here and then uh, last week Brad was kind enough to take over the show on the channel and uh, make fun of me that I was on vacation I was did my 10 year wedding anniversary trip we went to the beach for a couple of days so we had a good time it's kind of cool, kind of cold. I uh, was was kind of surprised about that. So, but uh, the last day when it's time to come home, guess what? It's perfect. You know, and that's how it always works. Let's see, Grams and Pops, what's up, fellas? Someone go wake up, Leroy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, yep, Chris, I, I see that. Yeah, it's commenting. Yeah, it's you. It. I'm going to back out and come back in. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Not a problem. So I hope everyone's uh, having good. Grams and Pops, it's good to have you on here today in the chat. I'm glad you showed up because I have, I've been keeping up with your Transformer saga also. And uh, I caught the first video of, what, uh, of everything that's been following it along. And the last video that I have seen, I haven't checked. So the last video I've seen was the one about uh, where... I think y'all were having the cops deliver the form to the guy at his house. Uh, the summons, I guess, is what it's called. Uh, so, about a thumbs up on that, man. You guys handled that a whole lot better than I did. There you go. You guys handling that a whole lot better than I did would have because, uh, it, I, I, you know, I say that because of my initial reaction of what you guys went through. So, but uh, it's... You know, I'm excited to see your next video on what's happening. <laughs> what do you think about that, Brad? The, the yeah. Transformer saga. Yeah, I've been I've been following that. That's uh, uh, that's just one. I guess it's one of those risk of doing business kind of things. You'd like to think everybody is uh, on the up and up in the same way mm -hmm. you try to be, but that's not always the case. And yeah, I hope it hope it works out well for them. And uh, I I don't know what I'd do in that situation, but I I think what they did was probably the wisest thing to do, uh, given all the oh, circumstances. Yeah. So, most yeah. definitely, gotta get those guys on the show at some point. By the yes. way, it's go ahead, bro. Got confirmation. Graham's pot said they got confirmation today that he got served by the deputies. It's in God's hands now. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Listen. Yep. By the Hello, way, it, it didn't fix it. I, I logged out and logged back in. And for some reason, it's still it's still when I comment, it's under your uh, it's under your thing there. So I'm not. I, I'm, right, man. I'm not. I'm not worried about it, man. I mean, well, if somebody says something, we can straighten it out. So if, if, yes, if Buck Mountain says something ridiculous, if Buck Mountain says something ridiculous, it was 100 percent him who's who's <laughs> the one that said. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's talking about Grams and Pops. Yes, I would love to have them on the show at some time. I mean, I like watching both of them. I actually like, you know, I don't know how you guys do it when you do your videos. If y'all just have two cameras and then do the split screen or or how you do that. But I think it's really, really cool because uh, I'm assuming you're sitting next to each other when you make the videos. And she's on this side and you're on this side or vice versa. You know, and so you're you're talking back and forth, but in the camera, it could actually look to someone like, uh, well, he's in a different room and she's in a different room. You know, it it could be that way. You know, which I th I think that's really really cool. I like to imagine that like they film it in two Hello, different Brandon. parts. That uh, yeah. that one of them talks and sends it to the other one, and then the other one replies, and they just right. it's like I'll move them to do a video. Right. Right. So, hey, Brandon, nice to see you today. I uh, hope everything's going good with you. 
so I wanted to, guys, I want to touch a bit about Macari. Everybody's in uproar. I got my phone is just blowing up over here. That might be Leroy. Okay, the, there, we, no, it's it's the church messaging um, system. Um, so, uh, in my title, I said the Macari screw up. I've read, I've seen a bunch of videos. Uh, oh, let me let me see what this. It's Graham's pop. She just said, uh, two cameras and separate audio. We sit just far enough apart that I'm out of kicking this. <laughs> <laughs> I like That's it. awesome. So, Macari, apparently, the whole reselling community is in an uproar over what Macari's done. Uh, and I'm going to be quite honest with you. I didn't think a lot of people really cared what Macari did <laughs> because I didn't think Macari was that big of a deal. But apparently, in the reselling community, it is a bigger deal than what I actually thought. Now, I will say that I have Macari uh, store. Um, I haven't sold anything on Macari store this year. No, I haven't sold anything this year on Macari. I have on Poshmark, but not Macari. So, it's because I don't have any items there. I got almost 100 items in store. So, Macari has made, and I was talking to Brad before the show, he does have Macari page, but it's like he's like me, you know, he doesn't sell enough on there for it just to even make a difference to us. But I want to get people's opinions. Those of you that are live in the chat now, uh, we could talk about it, you know, and give us your opinion on it. Those of you who watch the show later, please uh, put your comment below. So, so what Mac those of you who don't know, Macari has went to no selling fees to the seller. Uh, they put all that on the buyer. So the 2.9% plus 50% transaction fee goes to the buyer, and they call it a credit card fee is what they're calling it. Um, so the seller no longer plays those fees. There are also uh, a $2 charge on ACH payments to your direct deposit bank account. Now, as far as Instacash payments, that's still $3 like it's always been. It's always been $3 no matter how much you withdraw. It's always been there. And the same thing with the bank payment. You can uh, – it's it, 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 that has never been there. The $2 fee has never been there. It's always been free, but it's up to five to seven days it takes to go into your bank. So, so now they're charging you $2 to get something five to seven days later. I don't – particular think i like that part uh but like i said i didn't i never i have i don't never sold enough on macari for to even use that type of uh deposit in my account i always use the uh direct deposit i mean not direct deposit the insta cash which is three dollars you know so a hundred dollars you pay three dollars 97 dollars to me that's not a big deal you know to others it may be to me it's not so here's the big issue that I'm finding in other videos and other chats and stuff that I'm seeing is their return policy. Now their return policy, you can, I'm going to pull this up on the screen so everyone can see what I'm reading. That way there's no misunderstanding of what Macari is saying. Let me get it here. All right. So, we got that up there, Brad. Can we see that? Yeah. Yeah, we can see it. All right. Uh, do I mean to make it the full screen or? Hey, it's Leroy. Oh, there is Leroy. Hey. All right. Let's there make go, this boy. full screen. Yeah. Right there. there we go, brother. We'll catch it in a minute. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, return eligibility. Of course, it says return must be made within 72 hours of delivery date as reflected by carrier's timestamp. The item may be returned. And then, of course, you got all these reasons. Well, to break it all down, they still have 72 hours to from upon receiving a, their item to open a return. But they can return the item for any reason necessary. I mean, look, it doesn't smell. The item smells funny. They can return it. So it, it's, it's pretty much. You can return an item no matter what the issue is. So then when you come down here, so they got three days to open it up. Uh, Macari does return. Macari will ref, uh, Macari does supply the return label if it's under. 
poundage. If it's under, if it's if it's over fifty pounds, the seller has to supply the return label. So I don't sell anything over fifty pounds on Macquarie, so Macquarie would cover the return label. Now here's the issue: they do have three calendar days upon receiving the label to ship the item. If they don't do that, then the return is not going to be accepted. Uh, now here's a here's here's an issue that I have seen in a lot of chats that I am confused about myself, and maybe someone can help us out with this. Or, or Leroy, he might even know something here because he just come in after we started talking about it. But it's called approvals of approved returns under a nominal amount. Now my question is, who determines that nominal amount? I have no idea. And it says returns under a nominal amount may be issued as an account credit in lieu of a refund to the original form of payment. And the buyer may not be required to ship the item back to the seller. Credits issued will expire in 90 days unless the buyer requests to have a fund added to their account balance. Requests for refunds in another form of payment must be made within three calendar days of return approval and before credits are used. So here's the thing. Uh, from my understanding, from reading that with the return under an nominal amount, this is where my confusion is. Are they trying to, is that a door for a buyer to buy an item from us and then turn around and open a return and it be under the nominal amount that they get to keep the item and the money? I mean, is, is, is that is that what's going on here? Leroy, you're muted, by the way. You get yourself muted, buddy. Okay. Uh, so is that something that uh, is is opening up uh, a door for scammers? I don't know. I, that's that's probably the thing that I don't like about the their new policy there with returns. Any input here? Yeah, well, I... Uh, First, on just the, the service level of it for me, you know, I I have, I use uh, List perfectly, but mostly we've talked about it before as a way to back up my catalog. And it does allow me to export some things to other platforms I have. But um, one of the, on a practical side, you know, if I'm going to, if I'm going to cross list things over to Mercari, you know, now, uh, now it's like, Who's, I guess the customer is paying that what would a, would be the equivalent of the 10% fee that the seller is usually charged on the, on the thing. It's like, you know, to be competitive, am I going to have to like lower my, my, uh, my price on my item by 10% to, you know, make it compatible or comparable to what it is on eBay or the other platforms I have it on? It just, it seems like a, a lot of work for not a lot of return. Like I get a few, I get a few Macari sales a month, but, uh, you know, and it's, uh, it's kind of enough to pay for my list perfectly, uh, subscription, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I noticed That's yesterday, I noticed last night when I signed in Macari, there was an option there automatically option that they will automatically update my prices 10% lower than what I had them listed. So okay. basically what they're that's trying like to do. Bonanza. You do Bonanza, Chris? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's kind of like the, the option on Bonanza. You can automatically mm -hmm. have it, like reduce it by the amount of the, the difference in fees that it is on eBay. So, yeah. Now I see Brandon. Brandon made a, a, a very good point here in the chat. He says, he says uh, uh, sellers forget that zero fees means more taxes. That is correct. You know, I mean, the more money we make, the more taxes there are, you know. So even though we're not paying fees on the item we sell now, we got a item we're paying maybe just to have more taxes on it. You know, I mean, there's I don't know, that, that. Seems, seems convoluted to me. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like selling platforms have kind of operated the same way for, you know, for a long time. I don't I don't see the uh, I don't know. I don't have I'm ambivalent. I don't I don't really care one way or the other, I guess. But. Yeah. It seems seems like a seems like a, a weird mess to create. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. You can't be saying these words uh ambivalent. <laughs> 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 
I got second grade education. I was speaking in tongues, Leroy. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely is about as far as I can go. I don't know that one. I guess I should say I don't care one way or the other. So. I'm indifferent to it. How have you been, Leroy? How are you feeling, by the way, Leroy? You feeling better, brother? I'm feeling pretty good. Um trying to get back to myself. I have um I've drinking drinking lemon water, but um the 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 gnats like lemon, so I gotta cover them. <laughs> in the, the warehouse the the, the gnats are, the, the the little bugs are coming out. So right. but I'm doing okay. I my eBay, I, I um I, I'm on I'm on sabbatical. Um, I've been on sabbatical for a while. I've listed about 50 items in about 50 days. Uh, uh, maybe about, if it's uh, one a day, at least it's activity, right? Mi- no, it's not. Maybe a oh. hundred, maybe, a, maybe a hundred days, maybe 50 items in a hundred days. Um, I got a huge swap meet coming up, uh, April, first week of April, next Thursday. Um, oh, so I will. Uh, I know nobody asked this, but just you said what's up. So um, I I'm gonna have about thirty tables. Um, I gotta have four spots, thirty tables, um, eighty bins, um, and just stuff. So um, next Thursday, I've done this before, Chris. Um, uh-huh. I would love to try to go live from the swap meet. Oh, that'd be great. I was I was actually fixing to ask you if you could share all the information because is this going to be at your local place that you normally go to? No, this is at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Sweet. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome, Leroy. Oh, so I'll be at the racetrack. Um, about this time, I should be torn down. I might stay. Open. I might stay open to show you guys. Um, are you going to be able to be here next week, Brad? Yeah, yeah. Can we? Do we need to start it? Do we need to start it a little earlier? Yeah, six thirty. Okay. So I don't. Have, okay. Because I cover my stuff. So what I can do is, if we start at six thirty, I can have my stuff uncovered to show you guys, and then um, and then I'll cover I'll cover it while you guys talk, and then I'll try to walk with my computer i've done it before i've actually okay. done this before i was on another show and i had my laptop and i had my phone in my pocket and i'm walking around the speedway and everyone's like oh my god so now, Leroy, Le- no, I'm sorry. you're talking about carrying your laptop the app you can you can have the app on your phone and you can do what tim does you know tim when y'all do reseller information network he drives yeah. around with a thing that you can use your phone you don't have to carry around your computer yeah, I like my computer. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I could, I could, I could definitely do that. I could definitely do that. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of the booths will be closed, but just to give you guys an idea of how big this Joker is, it there's about five thousand vendors. All right. Is there any way? Uh, so you've done this before, is that correct? Yeah. Is there any way that you could send me or Brad? Actually, I would rather you send it to Brad because Brad's pretty good with the picture stuff. A picture of maybe the event, and Brad can make us a thumbnail for the show, and we'll create next week's show all around your event. And I think that would be really, really cool to do. Um, Yeah, so what you – I would rather do it on my channel to get the credit, Chris. Um, We have some – publishing stuff to take care of you and I um because okay. I feel like I'm getting people and I I haven't got a check I haven't got no yeah, money. Oh, it's in so, the mail well, you know no, how the no, mail well, runs man no no I I could try to do something I, absolutely um I'll tell you something um there's not a lot of views but and I shouldn't tell you this but I'll tell you if you put Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is what I would put for a heading. Okay. Charlotte Motor Speedway. I mean, Charlotte Auto Fest, and then put the year. 
So the year would be, uh, it would be the the spring show. So Charlotte Auto Fest, um, April, and then the date, and that's all I'd put. I wouldn't put Buck Martin Bond. I wouldn't put Walk Around. And then people are gonna type in Charlotte Auto Fest, and they're gonna come to your channel. You're gonna get views off of that, and I'm gonna be showing people around, and it's gonna go to your channel. Then we get our checks. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Chris! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So oh, what I really so, want. So the auto fast is the is, is what the swap mate is called, Leroy. No, he's muted again. What? What? I know you guys don't want to. How many people are here? There's eight, six. Is it only six? Yeah, it looks like six to me. Who wants to hear me talk about this? Does anybody want to keep hearing me talk about this? You want to wait till next week because I can I can pull off and talk about this for a few minutes. If somebody says no, then I'm not going to do it. So I need two yeses in the chat. While they're chiming in, Leroy, what I would like to see is I want to see you like hijack a side by side or something like that and actually take a, a lap around the track. <laughs> And I want to see them chasing you, trying to get you off the track. <laughs> that's the content. That's the content I want, bro. Didn't happen in South Dakota. Grams and pops. Grams and pops says, "Yeah, they want to hear you talk about it, bro." He sure did. He keeps muting himself. Oh, that awkward silence when nobody says anything, right? <laughs> Grams and yeah. Pops says, uh, they want you. He, says, he says, our next thumbnail, Charlotte Auto Fest 2024, didn't happen in South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> you got two yeses, Leroy. You got two yeses, so you're going to have to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sue and Grams and Pops. I'm intrigued by what Leroy But you're muted. But you're it. muted, Leroy. I don't know how you keep getting muted. Okay. There you um, go. There you go. Uh, so I'll show you one image. Um, All right. Boogity, 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 boogity. Hold on. Something's going on with my computer. Hold on, please. Okay. So my question was, even though it's a swamp meet, it's called an auto fest. Is that correct? Swap, not swamp. There's no, there's no swamps. It's a swap. Oh, <laughs> swap. Okay. There's no swap. I'm, so. I'm from the South, Leroy. <laughs> swap me. Hold on. I'm, I'm having an issue trying to figure this out. Just give me a minute, okay? All right. No problem, buddy. So, Brad, guess where I was at uh, Monday? This past I Monday? Went this to, yes. I went to Wartburg, Tennessee. Do you know where that's at? I do not. I hope I never go there. Yeah, it's up there close to. <laughs> it's Sounds like, like how you don't come back from. <laughs> yeah. It's up there where you ride all the side by sides at. Oh, okay. Um, well, yeah. there's that's a lot of different places that uh, that they do that around. Well, it's here. close to Kentucky. I know that. It was oh, a okay. three it's and a half up. hour ride. Yeah, it was a three and a half hour ride from Clayton, Georgia. So, so like close to Bristol up there or somewhere. Or? I don't know. I, I, I didn't drive it. I just rode. I was a passenger. Uh, my uh, my pastor from Clayton, uh, which is my best friend, he went up there to look at a dump truck. So we drove all the way up there. And then, of course, he ended up. ADH Dave's in the house. ADH Dave's in the house. Hello, Dave's. Good to have you here. Yeah, I asked a question that they answered on the podcast this last week. I was trying to stir up some uh, Dave's uh, Dave's the guy that likes to stir the pot up. So I was trying to stir the pot up. No, but I appreciate yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I appreciate yeah, the yeah. answers. It, it was uh, it was good honest good honest dialogue. <laughs> I like that. And actually, right. I think we should maybe if we want to make this podcast more like theirs, we should talk about keystring. Has anybody seen that? You guys know what I'm talking about? Ah, <laughs> uh, is that something he does? <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, <laughs> All right, Leroy, you ready to share this page right here, buddy? 
Okay, he said one second. All right. I'm good. Dave, I'm it's good, good to have you here. Thanks for stopping by and visiting us. We always like you have like to have new people. You are you're new to our channel, our, our show. I've never seen you join the show when it's live. Uh thanks for coming by. Agree on the keystring works great with socket wrenches. I've got to hear that story, Brad. What's up with the keystring? What is that? <laughs> I, can, I can tell you it worked great with socket wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> what's he talking about oh my gosh uh you know what you're just gonna have to go watch the trash to cash podcast to find out all right is it the latest one yeah it's brought to you by commonwealthpicker.com <laughs> <laughs> i have to do that oh, man. i'm gonna have Woo. to guys i guess they, uh, i've had garage full of kits if you know anyone that needs them all right, so I'm going to have to go watch that because I feel I, I feel I have no idea what keystring is. So we're going to have to yeah, go watch gold. it. It's gold. Just that little segment is gold and <laughs> keystring. <laughs> 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 on Twitter. <laughs> ah, yeah, I wish I, I wish I could pull up. I don't I don't have TikTok or whatever it was the video came from. But uh, yeah, man, that was that was gold. That between that and uh, Carrie's song for Don, that was uh that's that's been some good some good stuff yeah they have a good time on that show it's really fun all right leroy are you ready now yeah i'm ready but i'm a, i'm on stage fright because dave's here and, and <laughs> dave's, <laughs> i know I'm we're not professionals stage. like he is yeah I'm stage <laughs> now I'm will there be keystring at will there be keystring at the charlotte motor speedway at this swamp meet <laughs> swamp. it's not a swamp <laughs> So, so uh, Chris, oh, you can't zoom in. I have to, huh? I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Leroy. I was calling for my head off. What did you say, sir? Hold on. So, you mean you make this bigger? You mean make this bigger? Here, we'll do it like this, Leroy. Yeah, I mean, so that's just the inside of the track. That's vendors and cars. Can you hear me? So it's actually a car show there. It's a car show and swap meet. Okay. Yeah. It's it's crazy. So if you if we drop out of this, let's leave the stop sharing here. And I got this other video from this guy who's walking around the swap meet. And actually his setup looks a lot like mine. I'm cheating, so I shouldn't tell you guys. But uh, it's okay. Uh -oh. So I get it. I'm kind of excited for next week, Nelly Rue. I'm excited to see what you got going oh, on over there. It, it, it's exciting. It is. It, I've been doing this since I was 19. Well, I can see from the track, it's all blocked up. You're going to have a hard time still in that side by side and getting through all that traffic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But if you can hold out a socket wrench set that's I been uh, eastern, I bet people will clear the way for you. All right. So let's watch this guy a little. A little bit. Okay, yeah. So he's at the Auto Fest. He's at one booth. And he, there's just, there's usually, there's vendors. So see, if you look at the background, you can see tons of vendors. And then there's this guy with all the bins. I mean, he's loaded. He has bins. At, look at this guy. Look at his setup. He has like four stands. Like, that's so crazy. So is it just auto show inside and swap meet outside, or is it both places? Uh, no, it's uh, it's half and half inside, and then swap meet outside as well. This side, yeah, this one's only a dollar over here. Yeah. yeah. Just like this guy has just just a ton of stuff, and um, it's like there's so many other vendors. This guy's sort of in just one booth. Well, I'll show you guys next week. Um, I'll show you guys next week. Um, how it, I'll show you next week. Like what he's in the back of the track, as you can see, he is outside. He's probably in the red field. Um, it's crazy, guys. Like you have no idea. Let me. I'm gonna look up one more thing, Chris, and you guys could talk. I want to show you. I need one more. You just, you just kick Brad. <laughs> I kick Brad. <laughs> I got. I don't have authority. 
I didn't kick Brad off. <laughs> no, I'm, so I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to. Uh, every time I try to where I ran Buck's show last Call week, a little every first. time I try to comment, it's showing Under. up as uh, Buck's. It's showing up at Chris as Chris is in the chat. So I'm I'm trying to get out of this. So give me a minute, y'all. Carry on. He's done. He's looking up other stuff. <laughs> oh. I mean, we can talk about Keystrom for a bit longer because that's uh yeah I, yeah I'm gonna have to I'm definitely gonna let's have just to say let's video. just say okay so imagine you go to a yard sale which by the way I went to my first yard sales of the year today uh, not very good but I did go but imagine you go to a yard sale or an antique store or something like that and you see uh, you see an item that intrigues you and you pick this item up and then you uh, Proceed to place that item in a. Uh, um, have you ever heard of a prison wallet, Chris? A what? A prison wallet. Yes, I've heard of that. Yeah. Well, you proceed to uh, take this item that you found and uh, put place it in your prison wallet, and then take it back out. <laughs> <laughs> I swear they they've got they showed a video on Trash to Cash. They showed a video on Trash to Cash podcast of this guy like going through this antique store and taking items and and doing that and then putting them back on the shelf. He's not taking them and keeping them and like going out with them. He's doing that and then leaving the store and then putting it back on the shelf. Grams and Pops is right. Do not do yeah, not Google that. Yeah. You don't want that kind of history. <laughs> you have FBI at your door. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. So oh, I'm man. gonna show you guys. Um I'm gonna show you guys what how big this is. I don't know if any of you guys know anything about NASCAR. Okay. That yeah, round thing, that round thing is the track. Okay, so where it says blue and orange field, that's the track. Okay, inside the track, there's a there's an orange field that takes up the whole infield, and then the blue field takes up the whole infield, and then there's a red field and a green field. Every one of those fields holds probably two thousand. Like it's, did I lose you guys? No, no, you still here, Leroy? We just got the screen below. Oh, um. So that's how big this is. It's humongous. Like it, you can't even walk like all day long. Like forget about it. you could never go. You couldn't go through one field and see everything in a day. You really can't. And Dave, yeah. I don't think you're still here, Dave, but you are a really good flea market and, and swap meat guy. Um, If you ever came to this, Ots Antique comes up and he shops at it. But there, you would. There is a ton of stuff. Like, if our reseller community would would put our brains together and come to something like this, and we should have a meetup here next year, and maybe I'm putting it in existence right now, I would love to have a meetup. I understand a lot of people aren't going to go because it's tools, it's car stuff. But it puts you outside of your box. Everybody can be in one area. You can rent and camp there. It's it's amazing. You could fly into Charlotte and take a taxi there within within twenty minutes. Um, I really shouldn't be calling this out right now, but I would love to do a meetup there. I'm gonna do any kind of event, but I'm thinking maybe next year I'm thinking of doing a meetup there. And this is coming what, live over here right now. That would be cool. That would be cool, Leroy. Really. Really. It's next Thursday. You said. It's just to, a lot of a lot of resellers do, like. Th there's not going to be a lot of sneakers and plush, but when there is, they're going to have no idea what it is. And and now it's becoming more of an open market than just an auto market. That um, you never know. Like you know, it, it's just it's, it's crazy because. You know, you got you got four thousand, five thousand vendors. Okay, think about this. If somebody has plus, they have no idea what they have, and and sometimes the wives will just sell. I've seen jewelry at these things. 
I sell toys because people have a husband. There are a lot of husbands, and excuse my language, there are a lot of husbands that are suckers, and they have to bring the kid, or the wife won't let them go. So oh, when wait. it comes, I ain't get kids. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, though. You think about it, Brad. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I have toys and I have woman stuff, so they got they can't go if, the, if their wife doesn't go with them. And I, I'm one. There's four thousand vendors, and I got combs, brushes, stuff like that. They're gonna attract to me because nobody else has that stuff. Right. right. And you, uh, so how long? How long are you gonna be there? You're gonna. Be, I know you're gonna be there Thursday, but what other days? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's Sunday too, but I leave Saturday, and then I go to my local flea market on Sunday. Dude, I would love to drive over and see you, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Our transmission went out last Friday, and so I'm in the backup car. Oh, no. So my, my long haul trips are over until I can How get How far are you from Charlotte? Uh, quite a ways. How far is Charlotte from Asheville? It's, it's a little different. So Asheville is this way. It's this way. It's probably about five hours to you. Yeah, I'm about... Four and a half. How far are you to Asheville? Four or five about hours. Four, four and a half to five hours, I think, from Asheville. So check your phone, um, Brad. Okay. See if your phone will tell you. I, I think it's pretty far. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet it. <laughs> Look here, Leroy. I'm I'm done You're talking. Right. Just <laughs> You're done talking. What? Grams and Pops said you need to rent out one of those pedal party bikes with like 20 seats and just roll around that place in style. <laughs> you, you, have to bring, you have to bring a wagon. You have to bring a wagon because, because your car is parked down a half a mile, a mile from where you are. Golly. Silverhair yeah. said he's 28 hours from Charlotte. We're not that far from Charlotte. It says though. um, it says I'm six hours and eighteen minutes away from from Charlotte, dude. I would I would love to come, but I'm down to a 2001 Corolla. I mean, you get that oh. thing on the interstate, it is screaming, bro. Twenty eight hours. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how far away I am from it. I shouldn't be that far. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to see Leroy in the wild, get a glimpse of Leroy in the wild, just sit back somewhere and hide and watch Leroy do business. Right. Yeah. Uh, looks like, uh, I'm could, only I two could, hours. I'm only two and a half hours away. It take me two and a half hours. I could, uh, I could go incognito. I could show up to Leroy's booth like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so it says yeah, here. Uh, so it says here for? if I ride a bicycle, if I ride a bicycle, it takes me 15 hours. If I walk, it takes two days. But if I drive, it'll be two hours and 27 minutes. <laughs> well, that's not bad at all. No, I'm not that far away. I didn't think I was. If you got the funds and the time, you should go up there and see what you can get into. Man. I'm probably never Brad looking better. <laughs> Where'd he say he was gonna be at in the in the in the gray section? The blue section? I didn't catch that. I was in the process of trying to the uh, blue film get my comment thing built. Huh. He might get a surprise visit from me. It's only two and a half yeah, hours away. You got to film yourself walking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to film it, go live, film it on, on Instagram or whatever it is. Uh, so, uh, Brad, uh, Brandon made a comment, and I, I, maybe I missed something because uh, his comment said, and I think this is when we were talking about the keister and the prison pocketbook and all that stuff. Uh, it says, uh, wait, wait, Chris oh. used to do his whatnot live from the antique store. Oh, snap. I didn't even wait, catch wait. that. 
I missed something because wait, wait a minute, I missed something. I did. I used to do my whatnots live from an antique store. So okay, so I missed something with that whole conversation. Dude, was that so, video of you that they showed on the podcast? No, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. So I did miss something. What oh, kind of no. video was it? Now you told me it was a video of somebody. Yeah, it was like a security camera. Feed. It was a security camera feed from inside an antique store, and it had this guy like walking around picking up items, placing them back oh, there. Oh, oh, them oh, them no, them. <laughs> no <laughs> that's kid, not me. Good kid, Brandon. <laughs> We got into the bottom of it. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, I get it now. No, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That busted, they said. Yeah, yeah. My, the the guy asked me not too long ago. He asked me if I was coming when I was coming back to do another show because I used to run one every Thursday at 1 p.m over there and uh it's just you know whatnots oh if you don't have the follow man it is hard to sell on whatnot so i just had to quit doing it but uh, i'm sorry man. once i once Golly. i get started laughing, once i get started laughing to get off on a uh, on a laughing trail it's hard to stop man yeah 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 the guy wanted to know when you was coming back and the first thing <coughs> in his mind was what so he can hide on <laughs> so Leroy, are you are you in the blue are you gonna be in the blue field, red field, or orange field? Green field, I mean. I didn't get I didn't get a spot, so it's wherever they put me. Okay, okay. I wanna be in I wanna be in the green or the red field. All right. Says so you broke Brad. I can show you guys a sneak preview. A sneak preview of what's going on. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, we can see you guys... here. I tell you what. Hold on, Leroy. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it where everybody can see it. Boom. There we because go. Because everything right. is because of the way I have everything. But this rack is a new thing that I'm doing. And see, these are all screws and washers. And then all screws and washers and on the bottom, not the stuff on the rack, but all the stuff with the tags next to it. This is just a demo for me, but this is going to be one of my setups just for my screws, nuts and stuff. You go to all these yard sales and estate sales and you see boxes of screws and stuff and they just sit there and they'll give you the whole thing for two dollars. Well, I got probably a hundred dollars worth of stuff sitting on one side of this rack. That's awesome, man. And they will pick the stuff off all day. Leroy, I want to tell you something. Uh, so l last week, as you know, we went, me and Tammy went to Myrtle Beach for our, our, our 10th anniversary. And we went to the Goodwill and I found something in there. I wanted to get you so bad, but it was a size small. You know, the NFL, uh, this past year, they had the hoodies that were like military color and then they had the team and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, on yeah, them. Steelers one. Yeah. Yes, I found the Steeler ones in well, a oh, Steeler cool. one in Goodwill, cool. but it was a size small. And I says, man, there's no way you wouldn't yeah, wear that. So I, I thought about you, but I if it had been, if it had been bigger, I would have got it. I would, if it had been adult size, I would have got the thing well, for you. So, I, do, I think I showed you guys this. I'm not sure. Um, I'll show the chat. I'll show you half of what my setup is going to look like. Um, let's see. I'm somewhere else. I've been somewhere else. For, when I tell you I haven't listed in 100 days, it's because I've been getting ready for the swap meet. Because <laughs> it's my passion. I've been doing swap meet since I was 19. So. Do it, do it, Brandon said, Leroy. Brandon's Brandon's messing with you, Leroy. No There's shortage. No shortage. Stuff. And Steel good stuff well, good well. <laughs> no, it's three X. I need to. I'm back up. I I, I lost thirty three pounds. Leroy, I'm hitting the weight room. <laughs> I lost thirty three pounds and I've gained. 33 more. 
Okay. <coughs> so this is this is one of my rows. Hold on, Leroy. We're gonna fix that for you. There you okay. go. This is one of my, that's one row of bins. That's a whole a middle pot of bins. That's another row of bins. That's 70 bins right there. Um, and get me out of here. I got you. I got you. I got you. Buddy. Um, <laughs> and I, and I have, I have a lot of other stuff that's going there. So, so Leroy, I looked up, it's only a two and a half hour drive for me. So that means that it's what about an hour drive for you. It's an hour and 20 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. You have to supply That's your own cool. tables, or they give you, are the tables already there? You have to supply. He them. has to bring his own tables. That's a lot of tables for all them bands you got. Now we know why he goes on them runs to Tennessee all the time. I got, right now, um, I have 26 tables. I'm probably going to bring about 32 tables to that show. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't realize, realize your operation was that big, Leroy. Dang. Oh, yeah. You got to go check his warehouse out, Brad. You got to go serious. check his warehouse out. Look, Leroy, Leroy is undercover, man, on these YouTube channels and stuff. Leroy's got it made over there. I've never seen anybody in reselling business with a two-story warehouse. You're kidding. Two stories? He's got an upstairs, you know, man. He's got a whole new thing upstairs. Scott upstairs was talking about how there. big it. Scott was talking about how big it was, but I, I didn't hear him. I don't think I heard the part about a second story. Oh yeah, he's got another story in there, man. I'm jealous. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm jealous. You're not supposed to be envious or jealous to anybody, man. But I walked in there. Can, thing, I, I, was can like, I give you? All right, listen. There's not a lot of people here. I'm gonna <laughs> give you the dirty, messy tour. Okay? <laughs> Hey, I love seeing other resellers setups and what they do. So, yeah, bring it on, bro. Let me make sure I don't have any uh, you anything bad you guys can't see. I got pastas in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my overstock. Wait, hold on. Get out of here. He's trying to see. So, that's overstock. That's bins of my secret stuff where I, I hold, okay? There's about 40 bins there. And so isn't that. That's my photo booth. This is my uh -huh. shipping station. It's supposed to be a shipping station. This is overstock. This is supposed to go on eBay sometime in the near future. This behind me, that's all my eBay listings. Okay, I got about 70 of these bins all the way down. That's all my that's all my my stuff that's listed. The way that it is is each each shelf has four bins and then it's like so it's like this is 1000 so 1000 to uh 1100 and so on and so forth. So each shelf holds five hundreds. This is all my death pile. This is all that's my compressor. That's all my death pile. But hold on, because you can't really see it all. Let's go up here and show you guys. This is here all we go. that's another death pile. Okay, it's racks. You can't really see it, but I'll show you. Don't so you this know. is this is all racks. That's what you was looking at over there. Wow. This is my warehouse. That's a whole nother section. God, okay. This is my upstairs. It's a little messy. It's probably about 20 by... Probably 20 by 12. The lawnmower's gone. No, it's there. You just can't see oh, it. Oh, is it still there? Oh, okay. <laughs> there's, there's the lawnmower. Yeah, okay. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I, I mean, just to give you guys an comparison of how big this is, there's a rack up here. There's one, two, three, three tables. That's all motors. This is like where I throw my boxes for shipping. That's my own personal stuff. And then that's all the rest of the warehouse. Wow. That's not, that's not mine. 
Oh, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> I'm trying to get that stall. See that stall right there? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get that stall, but he won't give it to me. <laughs> He's super here because all the lawnmowers need to be upstairs. <laughs> so look at that, guys. Look how cool that looks. Yeah, yeah it does. Mm -hmm. That is good. Doesn't I, that I love that cool? setup. Right, and I'm going to tell you, Leroy, I love your setup, man. Like I said, I'm just completely jealous, man. So it's messy, guys. Um, I'm a one-man operation. Oh, let me show you something. Um, just in case you guys don't know, I don't like tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah look at this right here, man. Oh, man. Look at yeah, show them your tapes, Leroy. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the this tape. tape here, this tape up here. I love tape. <clears throat> That's it. We're done. Yeah, and they, you forgot to show them your your bubble your bubble wrap maker too, where you stick the hose in the bubble wrap and blow up the bubbles. Yeah, like we're Brad's, not going to stick the hose in those too. Yeah, I've I've seen yeah. that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like like walk walking through your your place is like it's like on uh that American Picker show when they go into one of those places where people have stuff and it's like. Oh wow! There's just stuff on stuff on stuff. That's tons of stuff. How long do you think it would take you to to list everything you got there, Leroy? Um, it, here's the thing: how much of it do I want to list? And how, yeah, um, <laughs> I could I could probably list. I I could probably. I'm the slow lister. If you did twenty a day, let's do it that way. If you listed twenty items a day. I got about a thousand listings here. Yeah, wait. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. Chris is gonna come. Chris, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Uh -oh. You always talk a lot of crap sometimes. I love you. Yeah. I love you, bro. Yeah. But you yeah. talk a lot of crap sometimes. Yeah. And you I need you to come up to my place the second week of April. I need you to bring $25. Okay. okay. All right. And I'm and I'm gonna, and you're gonna you're not gonna ask me what you're getting. I'm gonna load you up and I'm gonna take care of you. Oh, I thought I was paying you for being on the show. <laughs> no, you're paying me for stuff I'm gonna give you. <laughs> I actually, you know what, Leroy? And it's funny that you say that. I think I have to talk to my son-in-law, but I think I have something for you also. That goes in your that would go perfect in your shop. I want to double check with you. This is no, this ain't truth. a joke either. This ain't okay. a joke either. This is the truth. But, so when okay. I get back from Charlotte, once I get situated, probably about the 15th of April, I want you to okay. come up to see me. Maybe All we'll right. do it early in the morning, like you did last time. We'll go to my little honey hole. Yeah. And then and then you can um you can come and I got some, I'm gonna load you up with some stuff. But I, I okay. need something for it, so I want twenty five bucks. All right, sounds good. Yeah, not a All problem. Right. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that, and I'll get with my son in law to make sure I can have that thing that he told me I can have. I want to make sure, you know, uh, and I'll bring it if he gives it to me. <laughs> Who said? He said one hundred and twenty five years. His, <laughs> his, 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 hold on. Hold on. Look, hold look, on, look, on, look at this. On. Look at this. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. It's just version of Sims. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I messed up, guys. I messed up. Hold on. I and and this is just here. I have a 20 oh. by 10 garage at my house. That that's loaded as well. But I forget about this. I forget about the good stuff, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And then there's this. This is another pile of warehouse. That's all mine. Oh, sweet. Those 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 are those bins. That's yeah. The bins. yeah, that's the bins. That's all the bins. So let's see. Is there anything good up here? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, she looks okay. So that's how my bins are set up. Oh, you got them ready to go. You just load them suckers in the back of the van and take off. That's it. Nice. Yeah, he's ready. Well, I thought of you this morning, Leroy. I told the I told the family we hit our first yard sales of the season, and uh, we saw a couple of pink yard sales. 
<laughs> Did you? Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody laughs at me, right? But I'm going to be 100% serious with you guys. Here's my thing. It was a joke. It wasn't a joke. They said, if what would you... It, what would you sell if you couldn't find anything else? What would you sell that you know you could make money on if you had to? Listen, you could joke around about pink yard sales and new era toys, but if you know your crap, there's a lot of money there. We don't like it because we think we're too cool for school. You go to these yard sales and you got baby clothes that are worth 80 65 and you got toys fisher price all this new stuff that these kids never use they drool over it you can pick on me as much as you want but if i really had to do it i would do the i would do the pink the pink and white yard sales in the pink and white ebay store and i would crush all you guys out of the water i promise you well, hey, I'm, and i believe you sir I'm fixing to have to run in a minute. I uh, I actually got to uh, go that we're having a service over at the church tonight. So somehow I've got to cleanse my mind of keistering. Go to church. Go to church. That's right. Thanks to Dave for dropping in the chat and bringing that back up in my mind. Hey, I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a serious guy sometimes, but I have a lot of fun too. And I do have, I can lower myself to the humor of a seventh grader so uh <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah i gotta go back to see that video because i didn't see it i'm gonna go watch it as soon as we get done right here i'm, I'm going to watch it man i am i've got to have a good laugh but yeah everybody that's uh in the chat and everybody that's watching later uh we've decided uh, the guys actually decided for me that the last couple of weeks that an hour was better than two hours. And uh, I kind of agree with that. I think it's good for all of us. So it gives us a good time just to get an hour away and break and have a fun time and laugh and giggle and all that. Uh, Grams and Pops, I think it's Corey and Teresa. I'm going to be contacting you on Instagram here in the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to try and set up the time. I'd like to have you guys on the show. Uh, as a guest, uh, all, all keystring special. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to try to reach out to Dave also and see if we can get him on here one time. I don't know when, you know, he's, he's, he's got a whole, Dave's got a whole bunch of stuff going on, but live next week, we're going to be, Leroy is going to be uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway and we're going to be doing the show from there. And Leroy, I'll touch base. Do you want to do it on your channel or do you want to do it on this one here? No, we could do it on Buck Mountain. That's fine. Okay. But, uh, okay. Well, I do need to. I knew. I do need to try to be a little earlier. Um, no, that's fine. We'll do it six thirty. I'd love to do a pre-recorded starting at six, but anyway. Oh well, yeah. we can do that if you want to do it at six o'clock. We'll do it at six o'clock. Is that too early for you, Brad? Because I need you here. No, bro. I can make it, man. Because we can do it anytime. Here's the thing, because you know, I'll pack up if we did a. Um, we could just be live at six. It's fine. Um, bye, Lisa. If, yeah, bye, Lisa. But yeah, we'll figure that out. Brad got to go. Yes, we'll see you guys next week. I will be at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Um, if something happens and I'm not there, guys, don't beat me up. But I, I, right now, the weather and everything looks good, so we should be there. Um, you guys have a great week. Please pray for me for travel. Please invite somebody to church if you guys don't go to church. If uh, if you don't if you don't have anyone. Please invite someone that you know to church. If you don't go to church, go to church. If you really can't get to church, please watch a service online. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, so everyone, that's right. So Brad's got his uh, Passover service tonight that he's going to. Is that correct, Brad? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, Brad, is your is your services, do you do live feed in your services, like uh, from on YouTube or uh, Facebook or anything? No. We do have church online, but it's a it's a simulated live. So okay, all right, uh, yeah. So that's Bye, pretty man. much it. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much it here for us tonight, guys. Everyone have a great weekend. Have a great Easter weekend. And uh, next week it's going to be six o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Leroy is going to be live from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. So guys, Auto we'll see y'all next week. Oh.